Hello everyone, it's Matthew here from the NOLA Nerdcast here at Wizard World New Orleans Comic Con once again. Here with Errol C, who you might remember from last year's interview, and you might not remember from the year before because we didn't film it, but he was also here then, and he's been great every year. How are you doing today? Oh, I'm doing fantastic. You know, the weekend has been so good to me. And, uh, you know, it's New Orleans, so it's, it's nice to be here again. How are you enjoying the con since last year? It's grown, like, you're back. Like, how are you enjoying it this year? Well, actually, you can tell that, you know, there, it's bigger this year. Mm -hmm. I think they're growing every year, and, and, and that's a good thing. Are so. you finding like a lot of people are making their way to Artist Alley to see you? Like, are, have you been enjoying more people? Oh yeah, I think it it has to do with the setup they're doing right now. As you can see, all the celebrities back there, and when people come in, you know, you got retailers, and then they're gonna be here at the Artist Alley. That's, that's a good setup. Yeah, it's a smart setup to have you guys be in the middle because it makes everyone see you. And it's awesome. I mean, and as always, you do great work. Uh, how does it, like, we've been following you ever since last year. We've been hitting you up on Facebook and <coughs> talking to you. And it's like you almost treat this as a vacation. Like, you come with a group and you're like, we're on, we're on our way to New Orleans, guys. Like, how, how are you enjoying yourself this year? Well, you know, just seeing those people that you see every, you know, every year and then they, uh, it's, for them, it's like, you know, it's it's a nature for them to come by my table and say, hey, Errol is going to be there. And actually, Facebook really helps because, you know, I posted, hey, I'm going to be in New Orleans this year. And everybody was like, you know, messaging me, hey, Errol, you know, can't wait to see you again. And, and you know, they asked for a commission and stuff like that. And, uh, it, you know, it was treating me, you know, good for this, for this weekend. And, you know, a couple of guys brought me food at my hotel and somebody brought me something here. So, you know, New Orleans has been feeding me <laughs> really well. Hey, I mean, that's what we did. Now, speaking of commissions, you do a lot of comic art, but when it comes to commissions, like, you'll do, you're, you're, you're a true artist, you'll do whatever. Like, we actually have a friend of the show, he got you to do a commission from a video game for a character you've never heard of no. from the video game Persona, and all you needed was a picture, and you turned into this great little commission art for him. Like, how do you do that? Like, how do you turn just, like, one little picture from the Internet and turn it into, like, a commission? Like, I feel like that would be more nerve-wracking because you're doing something you've never done before. Well, first of all, if I get a commission like this, like, you know, characters that I've never heard before, uh, reference really help. And, 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 you know, this is kind of like a manga stuff, which it's not... But, you know, I'm, I'm up to challenge. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm good, and I, I'm, I wanted some, uh, something new that I've never done before. So, like this character. So, you know, it, it's, it's fun to draw something like that. So, yeah, all I need is a reference, you know, pictures and, and, and uh, images. And, and then I'll start drawing it, and uh, I ask what kind of character he is, what, you know, what his... Uh, uh, powers and stuff like that like you know abilities and then I base my drawing out of that awesome. and uh, you actually came up with this phenomenal idea for us uh, next year like you I heard and I was like this is fantastic yeah, you next year we, we uh, what yeah, why don't you tell us a, a little bit about what you have planned and like what fans of our show and our network can look forward to next year well you know uh, New Orleans has been good to me for the past I guess three years mm -hmm. And I want to do something, you know, give it back to New Orleans or people of New Orleans, like the fans, uh, you know, how I appreciate them and how they treat me for the past years. So I come up with an idea, like, why do I, you know, do something like uh, exclusive prints for especially, well, you have to be part of Nerdcast or whatever that group is. You have to be our fan, damn it. Yes. And, uh... I want to do something special, and it's not going to be sale on my table. It's exclusively for, for the group. So if they want to have that exclusive print, they have to join the group, and they have to be active. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So uh, what I'm having in mind right now is do a character that represents New Orleans, and maybe Rogue or Gambit, or I, I can do both. That'd be cool. Yeah, and uh, you know, for next year when I come back, and then I'll have the, all that prints and, you know, get everybody on my table and get that for free. But like I said, you have to be part of the nerd cast yeah. or whatever group that is. And, and as the show like, starts, like, coming closer, we're going to start broadcasting that, yes. making everyone be like, look, if you have to choose one artist to hit up this year, Errol C's got an exclusive free print for you guys. And, I mean, that's just... 
that when you told me that I was blown away like I mean that's how nice you are is we didn't come up with that idea you came up with that idea and I mean that that's incredible uh, so thank you very much for that and yeah, yeah I, I don't mind doing that like I said uh, it's just me showing you know my appreciation to to people of New Orleans because like I said they've been good to me for the past years and till to this day you know I've seen people like hey I've uh, I've seen you for the past years and we'll keep coming back. Just let us know when you're going back. That's so overwhelming to me. So I don't mind doing that and I'd love to do stuff like that for, for, for people who, who you know, always visit me over here. So w once, once I get back uh, uh, from the show, then you know I can start you know, doing some rough ideas what the print would be. So watch out for that. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you very much for taking the time to talk to us. Uh, we, if, if we have time, we want to get you to do the live thing of you doing a quick sketch yeah, again because yeah. that was fantastic. So we'll end this interview, do that, show you off being more awesome, let people know what they're in store for next year. Exactly. So thank you very much, Errol. And thank you for, you know, uh, promoting me. <laughs> it is the second time second interview and, you know, people get to know me more better, uh, you know, with this interview. And, yeah, it's... That's nice. Talented and humble. You just don't find that combination. And generous. That's a triple threat. So thank you. And then we'll uh, let, let, let's knock out that drawing. Okay. Okay, let me start with the rough, and then I'll lay it later. And once I laid it out, then I'll do the final line. Thank you.
I saw what it was and I was about to leave so I stopped. I can't even walk near a church anymore because of that person. Start the brush. Sorry about my markers, they stink.
All right, and that was just in a couple minutes. If you want to see what it takes when he like actually sits down to draw, like say Wolverine, right over there, like that. That's a Wolverine when he's like like giving it more eight than hours. a couple. Yeah, eight hours. So bam, Errol, what's up? 